In this video, I'm going to go through an algebraic proof of this equality. So I'm trying to prove that k times n choose k is equal to n times n minus 1 choose k minus 1. And so when you're trying to prove an equality of something like this, you need to start with one side, uh, use some replacements, some manipulations, and try to make it look like the other side. So I'm just going to pick a side to start on and, and see if I get anywhere with it. So I'm just going to start with the left-hand side, k times n choose k. And then I'm going to rewrite this side using the formula for n choose k. So I'm going to have then k times n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay. So even though I can only work on one side at a time, it's really important to keep in mind where you want to go with this. So oftentimes I'll go and look at the other side and how I might be able to rewrite that to give me an idea of how I would go about rewriting this expression to make it equal to this, to show that it's the same thing as this. So just kind of looking ahead, I'm going to look at that other side too and see if I notice anything that might be helpful. Um, so remember right now I'm working with this expression here, k times n factorial uh, divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. So I'm trying to see what these two things have in common and how I might be able to multiply and divide things um, to get some equality here. So on the other side, let's see what I have. n times n minus one factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times n minus 1 minus the quantity k minus 1 factorial. Okay, So uh, let's see. And sometimes when you do this, you might look at the other side to see where you want to go. And you might think, oh, well, maybe that other side is the better place to start. So you're just kind of playing around with different ways of writing this expression. So we're not really just writing out the proof yet. We're just thinking about this and seeing how we could go about proving this. So, um, so what I'm thinking now is looking at that other side, it looks a little bit nicer to work with right now. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it'll be easier to make this expression look like this one. So when I write it up, I'm thinking I might start with this side instead. But you can start with the other side just as easily. I'm just seeing a little bit more here. Okay. All right. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this expression here. Uh, so I have n times n minus 1 factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times, let's see, if I do n minus 1 minus k minus 1, I'm going to end up with n minus k. See what I saw there? I knew that I wanted an n minus k and I got one. So that's, we're on the right track, right? Um, so now we need to know a little bit about multiplying fractions, right? This is n over 1 times n minus 1 factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times n minus k factorial. And why did I do that? Well, I wanted to get n factorial in the numerator. And I know that n factorial, that's just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times blah, 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 until we get down to 1, right? That's what that's equal to. Okay, so I notice, look, I have n, I have n minus 1 factorial. So if I multiply that, that is just n factorial, right? Because what's n minus 1 factorial? Well, n minus 1 factorial is n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all the way up to 2, right? So these two things are equivalent, okay? So now, let me write that out. Let's see where we're at. So I have n times n minus 1 factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial times n minus k factorial, okay? I know n times n minus 1 factorial is just n factorial. And then, let's see what else I'm missing here. So the only thing now that's off, uh, based on that expression I'm trying to get to, right, this k times n choose k, 
I've got this k factorial here, but here I have k minus 1 factorial. The other thing that's different is that I also have this k on the outside. k is multiplying a and choose k. So I want to see if I can rewrite that in a way that's equivalent, um, but looks slightly different, okay? So <clears throat> I want k factorial in the numerator, or denominator. Right now I have k minus 1 factorial. So following the same sort of argument, I know that, this is side note, okay, I know that k times k minus 1 factorial is k factorial. So it'd be really nice if I could multiply the denominator by k so that I end up with k factorial. However, I just can't multiply by k or 1 over k, right? That changes the value of the expression. But I can multiply by 1. So if you notice, okay, I'm thinking, I want this k in the denominator so that I can get k factorial. But I can't just do that. It changes the value of the expression. So to fix what I just did, I can multiply k on the numerator also. Look, because k divided by k is just 1. So I'm not changing the value of that expression. But I'm getting that k factorial that I wanted in the denominator. All right, so let's see where we're at now k times n factorial divided by, okay, I said k times k minus 1 is k factorial. And let's see, times n minus k factorial. All right, now we're almost looking exactly like this. We just need to rewrite uh, slightly. So k, let's see, I can just rewrite this as uh, the product of a couple, a couple fractions here, a couple of rational expressions. So I've got uh, k over 1 times n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k. So I'm just moving that k out in front um, instead of within that numerator. Okay, And then that's going to give me k times n factorial k factorial times n minus k factorial. And we're almost there. Um, I want that final uh, expression, right? I want k times n choose k. So now we're going to apply that formula in reverse. Uh, if I can find my work here. Here we go. Now I'm going to apply that formula in reverse. So instead of n factorial divided by the quantity k factorial times the quantity n minus k factorial, I'm going to write out n choose k. And we have it, right? Because I can't stop here because that's not the expression I'm trying to end up with, right? I'm trying to end up with this, so once I get the other side, I know I can stop. Um, so this is not like a nice written up version of this, right? This was just sketch work to see if I could find um, a proof that worked here. So your next step is to write this out a little nicer um, and a little bit more linearly so it's easily, easily read and there'll be an example of a solution um, written up in that way available online. But for the most part, this is uh, the thinking that you need uh, to complete this proof. Hope that helps.